Nice one, Beef. Turn around, let's get a good shot of them. And this match is about to begin. This could be horrible. Let's have a word with our co-commentator, Mr. Brian Davenport. So, uh, how do you think the match is going to go today, then? The way I see it, uh, the team that scores more goals uh, will win. And this is, of course, a game of two halves. Anyway, back to the action. John is also feeling his nab. This is good. Let's zero straight in. Oh, we missed that one. And there's Chris B. Oh, I forgot to tell you that uh, a special feature of our superhero Bacon Boy is, in fact, that he has got magne a magnetic groin. If the ball is going towards him at a rate of knots, he can use this special power to attract it into his midriff. And if it hits there, well, it's bound to stay, really, isn't it? This match is about to start. Linden comes running through. Beefy feeling his nads again. <laughs> and it's about to start, and they're shaking hands. And just, and it started. <laughs> and there's Ricky Linden. But anyway, back to the match. Let's zero out. There are lots of chants in the crowd are going wild here. There's somebody who I don't know. Um, I'll just ignore him. Who's that? It's well played by Wolves. Oh, good save by Bacon Boy. He's got the ball in his very, very safe hands there. It's rolled out. John Wilson does a clever little sort of trickly bit with his feet. And what's he going to do with it? Plays it to Dean. And John takes it back, but no. Paul Jackson's got it in there, and Jackson tries to come away with it. Wilson ties up, but Dean's got it. I finally worked out who he is. He is Dean, and that's all I can say about him. There's... Who's that? He's in. Oh! A cracking bit of skill there from somebody else who I don't know. That's Craig Davenport. Oh, it's unlucky. Bacon Boy tidies up. So that's Paul Jackson. Who's got that? Paul Jackson. To Craig. But Wilson tied his up. Alan Hudson, Mr. Pirouette himself, tries to challenge, but no, it comes through. Oh, unlucky from Dean. Play to Wilson, he's hit it. Oh, it's very, very unlucky. It's good shot. This is looking to be a promising start for the Nads. Bacon Boy rolls it out to Hudson, who pirouettes round one, round two. But it's in the corner, he shoves John in, but that is a free kick. First, first and uh, not the last foul of the game there. Hudson waves to the camera. What sportsmanship, what showmanship. <laughs> Sport, oh, all right, wrong word. And Hudson goes round one, this is amazing, and falls over. Oh, it's Wilson, this is in trouble. Bacon Boy saves and flips it up. Bit greedy by John, perhaps it's because he's a uh, girly whirly is standing and watching over, over there. Oh, and it's a football from Chrissy B. Dean plays it, but it went into almost there. Where? Hello. Goes around Craig. A bit of a nervy start, I think. Andy Puffett has the ball, but Wilson's got it. Steve's shouting back for some unearthly reason. John Wilson's got the ball. He wibbles, he wobbles, and he gets tackled by Craig. He lost it over. Now, why did he feel the need to do that? Who knows? It's because of those crazy boxes he wears. What a save. And there's the magnetic groin of, of uh, Bacon Boy. They're coming straight into action. Andy Puffett with the ball, plays it back to Wilson, and it's lost it over. Craig's got the ball, back to Bacon Boy. Bacon Boy's magnetic groin working wonders already. Now Paul Jackson, what could he do? He wanders around from left to right, plays it to Alan Hudson, a little back heel, but it's very unlucky. John Wilson has the ball, plays Andy Puffett, what could he do with this? Oh, unlucky. And Steve Chandler comes in, ah, oh, that's an excellent slide. John Wilson with a bit of feeling there. Play to John. 
Dean's got the ball. Away by Paul Jackson, not very far though. Dean's got the ball. It's another foul there on Andy Puffett. Jacko, and it's to... Oh, I thought that was somebody else then. Wow. <laughs> That's the first goal, and Richard Bacon Boy slaps the air. Oh, we're not recording. I'm sorry. And it's Bacon Boy, what a stretch! Oh, it's well rounded by Chandler. Oh, well, yeah, well played, Steve. Linden bobble hat extraordinaire. As we have a quick look down onto John Wilson there. There we go. You follow it up. Bacon Boy's got the ball. Plays it to Jackson. Oh, uh, straight out to Beefy. Beefy Big Boy Billy passes it to Steve. Well played by Steve there. Steve surveys the pitch from his lofty height, takes it round, and that is a wonderful goal from Steve Davenport. Sometimes it takes a message to kick, uh, to, it sometimes takes a long time to get from his head to his feet, but not that time. Oh, well played by Steve, he's been the, the linchpin of the defence at the moment. As he's come on, he's slowed it down, hasn't he? Slowed it down to their pace. And oh, and the magnetic groins work wonders again. Or was it? Or was it the thigh this time? I think it was the thigh. As he's not writhing around. No, it was the groin. We can see it. That's two times the aforementioned magnetic groin has come into action. Played by Steve to Ricky. And now John Wilson, Mr. Boxers is on, that's a good ball, but somebody tidies up. Steve Chandler, oh, Wilson's on the floor, he's gone round one, he's, oh, but that's a wonderful tackle. Well played by John Wilson there. Oh, this is an excellent running by John Wilson. Oh, but... It's unlucky by John Wilson, very unlucky there. He's been playing, I just hope it doesn't, he's been playing very well. I just hope it doesn't on, affect his confidence. To so John Wilson. Oh, that's a good play. But Paul Jackson tied his up. Well played, Rich. And Barrett's come away with it. It's well played by John Wilson. Across to Ricky. Oh, that's hit the post. Unbelievable. Slips. Oh. Steve Chandler on the ball. What can he do with it? Oh, he passes it to Barrett. Drags back. Oh, Beefy shoves his bottom in the way. Play back to Beefy. Beefy runs left and and <laughs> magnetic groins. Magnet knackers works wonders yet again. See, like I said before, once it hits there, it stays. That's well played by Paul. Well, 
Jackson. Jackson flying here, I think. Oh, that's a good guy. We zoom in on the Linden. Good running by Andy Puffett there. That's our picnic there. Yeah. That's our picnic. Oh, that's a nice one, two side there. Steve can turn now. Oh, it's uh, played by John Wilson there. It's Andy Puffett. A cracking save by Bacon Boy, and again, Bacon Boy works wonders. What a superhero, like I said before. It's the uh, Captain Sensible. He speeds round one, lofts it into the... Oh, it's unlucky. With his Gazaresque hair haircut, he is a player to rival Gascoigne himself. Oh, Wilson skips past him, though. But what's gonna? That's a bit unlucky by John. Oh, that's well played. Oh, the finish was lacking. Somebody has to mark Andy Puffett there for the uh, an Atletico Madrid. Oh, oh! Bacon boy nearly fooled by his own defence. That. Very unlucky from Brian Mullis. Ex come on, back you come. That was very, very easy. And what is he doing? That wasn't even a very good dance this time, John. Sort of a bit of a... Like you at the parrot, actually. Who at the parrot? Him. Oh. Who else? Play to Brian Mullis. Oh, to Paul Jackson. Oh, but he falls over. That could have been costly. He could have scored then. Oh, it's a great save. He showed good save there by uh, Paul Jackson. Richard has the ball. That's great through ball. The lack of uh, communication in this defence there. Oh. Good save by Richard Gillis, alias Bacon Boy. Alias any other sort of horrible nickname you can imagine. It's unlucky. I feel that, that Brian Mullis is in fact going to score at some point. Come on, they've got to get the mic in right, these unathleticos. There's no running so in defence and a lack of communication. See, Paul's feet must be going a bit sort of odd because he keeps falling over all over the place. That was wonderful play. I'll play. It's not all one way traffic, this. it isn't. The Nads are. It's an overlap there. Severe. Lovely overlap. Oh, wow. Severe, bad finish. And at half time, the score is. The score is, as our commentator just goes in, 4-1. As we see Bacon Boy, and we get a close-up of the magnetic groin there. We see Bacon the Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he gives us the ritual salute. Can we have it again, please, Mr. B? Thank you very much. Can you turn around a bit? Just so we can see that magnetic groin. There we go. And they kick off. And time for a bit of picnic. Rich, rich cheesy biscuit that's already been eaten. I won't have that one. Paul Jackson's got it. Oh. To John Wilson, who shoots. It's a good finish.
good ball and shot. Oh, it's a good, good play by me. Football's been of a good quality, hasn't it? The football is a very good quality. It looks like a big tennis ball. Aha, aha. That was a joke, that was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> your bacon boy jokes. <laughs> yeah, it's the only joke I've had all um, commentary, actually. I'm trying to think of some new ones. Andy Puppet on the ball. Dances around Alan Hudson. Oh, Played back. Oh, that's full of excellent. Oh, it's a pass back there. Mm. So lucky. I feel the need for another rich, cheesy biscuit, actually. Hmm. Puppet on the ball. Oh, Goes around yeah. Hudson. Oh, and Hudson yeah. drops him wonderfully there. Is that the only sec the second foul? Third foul? Four, actually. That was a wonderful foul from Alan Hudson, and he knows it. I give that one a nine out of ten, actually. And John Wilson sort of plays that in interestingly into the corner. And it was, it was with pinpoint accuracy that, however, that pass hit the post. Hudson sort of dragged it. Oh, it's stolen. That's a good save again. Yeah. The unathleticos just aren't finishing properly at the moment. We're seeing a lot of frustration here. Yes, there are, is a lot of frustration. Oh, Save by Richard. Bacon Boys inspiring his team. The power of the magnetic draw never ceases to amaze us. And there's a break on here. If John Wilson could do anything about it, he can. Oh, a brilliant, brilliant tackle. Unbelievable challenge there. Skips. Oh, uh, Steve Chandler tries to skip around Andy Puffett, doesn't manage it, gets stopped by Dean. Oh, well played there. Nothing you can do about that. Oh, Steve flies past one man. Oh, it's nearly a big win this way. You've got your mouth full, haven't you, again? Mm. <laughs> Bacon Boy speaks. This is a historic moment. Hudson completely confuses everyone. What a player. Bacon Boy shouts left. The ball goes left just like he prophesied. Stay with him, fucking man, Alan. Well played, Bacon Boy. Oh. Bacon Boy gets very, very frustrated there. You see the way he booted that ball. Oh, and he hits the net as well. It's unbelievable frustration. You'll see. Yeah. This hasn't been the little niggly match I thought it might turn into. I think they might all actually oh, turn out to be friends at the end of this. Bacon Boy sort of... I don't think we ought to film it. <laughs> Steve Chandler doing most of the running there for the Unathletico team. Great That's a great goal. They needed that, perhaps get some morale back. And we're just going to go and check the score. 8-2. I can't see them pulling this back now. Save by... Re oh, well played. Skips past two. And drags it back. That's excellent play. Oh. You heard an uncharacter...
uncharacteristic bit of shouting there from uh, Brian Mullis there. He sort of lost his temper for the first time in history. I think that's our beeper out. Yeah. No, what he actually said was, uh, come back you lazy people. He didn't actually, actually say, mmm, studs, at all Mrs. Mummy Davenport, or Mrs. Daddy Davenport, or whoever might likely to be watching this, he might be offended. Thank you. Well, I think Steve's been the influential player. I think, think so Davenport as well. He's been, he's Steve Davenport's been excellent. That's a good down. save for Chris B. Unathletico aren't actually pulling their weight at the moment. And they don't seem to be making the challenges. And they're not definitely not coming back like they ought to. It's been some good saves for both bowlers there, I think. Yes, they have. Bacon Boy, the magnetic knackers coming into immense action. Oh, that's a good tackle by Alan Hudson. And gets tackled by Barrett, but it's safely shepherded back to the keeper. Hudson has the ball. We point at Ricky. And that's cat camera work by me there. Did you miss it? I missed it totally, sorry. Sorry, Rick, I missed your celebrations. I'll probably miss your goal as well. Andy Puffett on the ball. Fresh arrives by Steve Barrett. Oh, that's a great back heel. This is good. Oh. No mess in defending there. Oh, he's in. Oh. One of his lofted shots. Right? Yes. I can see one of those lobbying Chris B there. Did not go down there. Stood his ground, lovely. Well done, Bacon Boy. Well fought out by Andy Puffett there. Oh, good shot. Goes straight through the net. Goalie's ball. No messing. Deadly Brian Mullis on the ball. What a pass. That's a bit of a header. Shall I steal another rich biscuit, rich cheesy biscuit here? I did, and they're not mine. <laughs> oh, it's boxer short man who gets tackled by Brian Mullis. Oh, he should have passed it to Barrett. Interesting finish from John Wilson. He perfectly picked out the other side of the netting there. He meant that. Ricky wobbles left. And he almost got caught by Brian Mullis. This is where the uh, gonads could get unstuck. That's a great turn. That's a bit, could be a bit painful as well. Well played by John Wilson. <laughs> There's one for Jeremy Beadle, everybody. I knew we'd get one sooner or later. <laughs> oh, oh. Ricky on the ball. Megs one. Paul Jackson has it. Play through to Steve Barrett, who passes it. To Mullis, who tries the shot, but unfortunately doesn't, just doesn't work out. Ricky Linden's been tra trailing Paul Jackson for most of the game. He has. Ricky's kept the quite a tight lid on uh, Paul Jackson's run. Oh, Jackson tries to run there, and he comes back. Paul it's Jackson with Tyler's running. That's a superb tackle from Paul Jackson. And Jackson comes running back again. Superb play from Paul Jackson. Come on. And this match is started to get. It's starting to get a bit niggly now. Oh, that's great play from Andy Puffy. He goes on a run.
Yeah, there, came, there was a stage when, oh, except for now. Great save by Richard. And I think I missed it. Sorry, Rich. Just take it from me. That was a good save if you're watching this. Richard snatches the ball up in distaste and horror and loathing and fear and just basically not very happy. <laughs> and Atletico tried to smuggle four players onto the pitch there. Something new there. Yes, there was. A new tactic, perhaps not seen before. He tries to make Rich. Goes back to him. And Ricky's got the ball. Saved by Richard. Richard seems to have lost heart in this game, as have most of the players. And Ricky Linden. What happened there? Ricky's doing a little groovy little dance there in the corner. I missed that one a bit. Bob <laughs> 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 well, tackled, but John Wilson still got it. Will Paul Jackson try and drop him? Steve Davenport, who started off this uh, Gonads victory. Oh, Wilson knackers it up again, just like Richard. Oh, but, oh, this is unbelievable. Got Could they put, pull back a goal? One. No. Oh, brilliant defending. Richard again shouts left for no apparent reason. Say it again, Rich. Gone. Left. <laughs> Does that mean he can't dive to his left? Possibly. It might mean. Um, but it's true, isn't it? You know? Oh, that's oh, so unlucky. Nice. Oh, that was a good move. That was one of Fesco's best move. Oh, Richard boshes it out. You leave us now from, from the uh, Sky Blue Sports Connection with John Wilson smiling. A victory for the Gonads. The score being, what's the score, Bry? Bry? The score was 12-2. Sets home in on Stephen Davenport's magic boot. And they are very happy with this. The Nads are celebrating. And they all just leave me to pack away the equipment. Thanks a lot, Brian. Just leave me to pack away all the video equipment on my own up here. Thank you very much. Fine. But I still have the rich cheesy biscuits. Anyway. That's the end.